oh sleeper, awake, awake, oh sleeper, he's coming. I go to bed one night and I have a dream. And in the dream, I'm in this church. And it's a big church about the size of this auditorium. And it is just full of people. And there is like a, some kind of celebration is going on. But everybody in this church is really plastic. And they're like, you know, like one of those nightmare kind of dreams. Everybody's moving like mechanical, like this, and plastic. And they all have like this plastic look on their face and this wild look in their eyes. And it was so fake. And I said to myself, I got to get out of here. I want to find something real. I got to find something real. And all of a sudden, I start to hear this rhythm. It's going, and it is the most terrifying rhythm I have ever heard. My adrenaline instantly started pumping. And this rhythm is like far, far away, but it's coming from the inside of me at the same time. It's like right here, but like way far away. And I start to run to the rhythm of this beat. And I'm running out the door, running through the church, running out the door to the rhythm of this beat. And my adrenaline is pumping. When I get out the door, I see this huge explosion. It was like chaos. It was it was Isaiah 24 type stuff. It was it was war and destruction and everything that could have been shaken was shaking. Everything was cold red. And I said, I don't want to go near that thing. I'm actually trying to get out of the dream. I knew I was in some kind of dream. I was trying to wake up. I couldn't wake up. I was so involved. And the next thing I know, I'm right in the middle of this huge explosion and I fall into this pit, and I look around, I hit the ground, and I look around, and everything is cold red. I mean, the whole atmosphere was red, and alarm. Alarms were going off, and it was just, it was just intense. And this rhythm is getting more and more intense. And it's coming from the inside of me. It's coming from a distance, but it's getting louder. And I look up, and I see the Lord. At the time I had this dream, I was meditating on the Song of Solomon. I was focusing on the bridegroom heart of God. I didn't think of Jesus as a judge. This wasn't even my paradigm when I had this dream. I look, and I see the Lord. And He's running to the rhythm of this beast. And He's moving like a lion. Have you ever seen National Geographic, how a lion moves? He was a man, but he was moving like a lion. And he had the most intense look on his face. It was like, he, I, I mean, zeal and talk about fire. I didn't see literal fire in his eyes, but he had a look in his face. And I knew that he was the one who was shaking everything. He was shaking everything that could be shaken. And I was utterly confused. I said, Lord, 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 what is going on? And I started to back away. I didn't want to see. I said, Lord, what is going on? And he looked right at me. And he goes, zeal for my house has consumed me. And it thundered. He goes, zeal for my house has consumed me. I said, yes, Lord, yes. But there's no evil in you. There's no wickedness in you. You are good. You are kind. You are gentle. I was arguing. I, was, I, don't, I didn't understand how he could shake everything. I said, Lord, Lord, I don't understand. If, if this is you, what is evil? And he points over this way, and I follow his point. And I see something that looks like a religious, some kind of religious Buddhist-type monk. And he's like growing flowers. There's this aura of peace and safety absent of Jesus. And the Lord looked at me, and he said, Woe to those who call good evil, and evil good in that day. And blessed are you if you are not offended. Woe to those who call good evil, and evil good in that day. And blessed are you if you are not offended. I was shaking. I was trembling. I did not have a paradigm for what was being said to me. I said, Lord, Lord, I don't understand. But if this is you, what do you want me to do? 
And he looked at me and he goes, sing Zion, sing, sing Zion, sing, sing Zion, sing. And then I woke up from the dream and the presence of the Lord was in my room. And he gave me a couple of scriptures and the Lord confirmed into my spirit that I was called to be a singer and that I was to call forth a generation of singers and musicians, prophets for such a time as this because there is coming a great shaking. It's not all going to be bad. There's good things going to come as well. But there is coming a great shaking. We're already in it. It doesn't take a prophet to see that. It doesn't take a pessimist to see that America is being shaken. Just turn on your news. The Lord wants to put a song in the night. Why a song? Because it tenderizes the heart. Because it unifies the body. Because it makes you feel truth. It makes you remember truth. You know, a preacher can get up and say, God loves you. But when you sing about the love of God, you feel it. And you wake up the next morning singing about it and remembering it. Why a song? Because God wants to tenderize hearts so that we're not offended and we're not confused in the hour that's coming. He wants to tenderize our hearts with love songs of His beauty.